Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Tanya Lady T. And someone had asked me to do a get ready with me. So today I'm inspired by this top. It's Saturday. It's just a cute little flimsy blouse. Um, almost like a peasant top. Um, I've got to go into work for a little bit today um, just to knock something out. Then when I finish that, uh, it's all about my granddaughter Lauren. We got to go school shopping. So anyway, I'll just, you know, I've got the camera sort of zoomed in and um, just getting uh, re-woke up again. I got up about three o'clock this morning and I'm going to tell y'all, I was in some prayer. I was in prayer mode this morning, prayer mode, uh, which is always in order. So anyway, let me go ahead on and start um, just getting my face done. Um, we're going to start with, um, this is Fit Me by Maybelline and I wear shade 360 and same way with the powder so again it's just a fit me press powder and we about to do it i hope y'all had a good friday night i'm putting vantex um on my nose area because i got a some kind of weird line and it's starting to fade a little bit so and then i put some on my elbow this elbow is just Still kind of discolored. So we're going to do it. And I got to get through this video because it's not going to give me but 21 minutes of PM time. I have got to clean up and erase stuff so I can have more room on my phone. Because I do all my filming, video editing, and all that on this. So anyway... I mean, this, when I tell you, I have been heartbroken over Fashion Fair not having my shade anymore. But you know what? It is a blessing that this fit me fits me perfectly. When I tell you, this stuff blends in to the shades of my skin tone. I mean, are you kidding me? Are, are y'all seeing this? And it just gives my skin a beautiful beautiful even tone and i'm sure there's some other ones out there estee lauder has got a really good match but this liquid foundation when i tell you i am happy with its consistency and it doesn't turn on me that's the big thing when i'm buying foundation and this is not but six bucks Y'all, this is $6 for the foundation and the powder. I mean, are you kidding me? And that's what this light shining right up on my skin. I mean, I'm just very well pleased with this. So you figure 12 bucks for your foundation. And it will ask me about... Because I use makeup. I put on makeup every day. So, it lasts me about a good two months. Now, when I was buying Fashion Fair, my foundation was 28 and my powder was 28 So, I was spending $60. And it would last me two months, too. So, the usage is the same. And so, that's what the shade looks like. And since it's just Saturday, I don't do much. I'm just going to put on my basic foundation and powder. And I use, can't see, let's see. I think I've shown y'all this before. LA Colors, the eyebrow pencil, simple. Just draw my eyebrows on, but anyway, y'all. I have um, this morning, like I said, I got up this morning and was in prayer. And let me tell you something about prayer. So, 
sometimes we just have to speak things into our lives, things that we believe for ourselves. Um, like with me, I'm on this health and losing weight journey, and I just begin to speak. You know, I told you I lost 13 pounds, and then I gained three back because I'm on a steroid. And ho and I'll, I'll be finished taking them in about another two or three days. I mean, I, it's just something necessary that I had to take to, to get that inflammation off my shoulder. So sometimes you just have to do what you got to do. Because I definitely wasn't going to be sitting around in pain. But anyway... Um, I, um, weighed and I've lost two pounds. Like I said, you know what I'm, I, you know, I eat and I do my cheat days, but during the week, like I said, I'm still doing my portion control. I just, you know, of course, I record over there on my mukbang channel. Stuff I know people want to see. Are they rooting for me to lose weight? Yeah. But they don't want to see me eat no salad. They want to see me throw down on a Reese's peanut butter cup donut. So, my cheat meals are what I record. Just keeping it real, y'all. And you know what? If I don't inter if, if I don't intertwine cheat meals in my weight loss journey, I would never lose any weight. Because I'll be so discouraged and so craving things that I really wouldn't look forward to the cheat meal. Because I'll be cheating the whole time. Okay. There are my eyebrows. Let me just clean them up. So, anyway, I was up this morning just um, speaking things. I mean, you know how sometimes we say, you know, Lord, help me lose this 30 pound. No, I speak to this fat, be thy removed from my body, and I'm getting rid of it. Because guess what? I don't, want to come, I don't want it to come back. So... And I, you know what, I, I ran across some pictures. Um, a girlfriend of mine, she brought me a picture the, uh, uh, one day last week. She brought me a picture. Me and her had went to go see Martha Manuzzi. Y'all remember Martha Manuzzi? When we come into his presence, lifting up the name of Jesus, and you hear the music playing, and you see the people praising, just forget about your worries, let your troubles fall behind you. Y'all remember her? Okay, well, we went to see her in concert, and we took a picture with her, Lord Jesus, in the morning. Anyway, she was really skinny. And this was back in 2006. And y'all, when I looked at that picture, see the a picture tell the story, won't it? Y'all, I might have to just go on and get it and show y'all right now. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna cover up my friend's face because I mean, she's cool, she, she probably won't care. Would y'all look at that picture of me? And again, like I said, we was at the Martha Manuzzi concert. Would y'all look at me? And like I said, that was back in, I don't know if the it's picking up the date. Y'all can see that. That was back in 2006. Yeah, that was me. Let me tell y'all something. Like I told y'all, I have been doing the weight control thing and the portion control and for some years and that's the only thing that has worked for me so that's why I come you know when people want instant gratification I've, I've lost a lot of weight and I have kept it off I really have um you know I might fluctuate 
five pounds up, you know, five pounds down here and there. That's that's to be expected. My doctor said that's normal. But he has helped me stay on a path where I'm losing weight and keeping it off. So that's why, you know, comments of what people say, oh, you you eating that? Yeah, yeah. That, that, I know what where the Lord has brought me from. But you know, I just wanted to show, share that with y'all. Because still, I'm still on my journey. I mean, I was over 300 at my heaviest. I was 320 pounds. And I'm, I'm just about at 100 pounds. Since 2006, I was 320. Yes, that was Thundercat. And I still got a ways to go. And all the, and I lost that through portion control. Yep. And I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there with that 30 pounds. Okay, I'm just blending. Just blending that in. Cleaning up my eyebrows. I tell you what, I like these new chisels. But sometimes the best thing is your hands, your fingers. Okay. And those are my eyebrows. But, um, yeah, y'all. That was Bigum Stigums. I was. Thicker than a whole case of fit Snickers. But when she shut, she said, Johnny, I just want to show you how well you've done. She said, a lot of times we don't see it because we see that we see people every day and we don't think you think you're not losing weight and people want to see such a big drastic change. But she said, I'm just here to tell you over time, Tanya. You have done well. And so that 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 blessed me. That encouraged me. Because, you know, like I said, I've lost 13 pounds. And then when you gain three back, I mean, you just feel like somebody kicked you in your teeth. And you're just like, oh, no, you know. Let me see. I want to look at the. I've been using the Carly ba Bi Is it Bible or B Babel? Let's see. Let's do her palette. I'm going to do a little something these are, like I said, these are her highlighters and these are the eyeshadows. So let's see what I'm going to do. I'm going to just do something really simple. Um, I'm going to use this cream color on my lid. And I'm going to put a little bit of eye primer. Again, we're just doing a simple makeup. I, I'm, I don't know why I'm trying to make this so dramatic. Just rub that in. Because I'm just rolling to the mall with my granddaughter. Okay, just a little bit of that. And then I'm going to use this palette here. This is a, the Coastal Scents palette. This thing is probably about four or five years old. I probably need to get some. Um, I'm going to use some of that orange. And then I'm going to use over here some of that yellow. Because my shirt is orange and yellow. And uh, what else is in there? Cream color. So we're going to do a little bit of yellow here. When you come into his presence, lifting up the name of Jesus, and you see the music playing, and you see the people praying. I love that song. We used to tear that song up in church, boy. Just in general. I think we must have sang that song every Sunday. Just forget about your worries. Let your troubles fall behind you. 
Don't you wait another minute. Just get up and on your feet and get the dancing. Singing. Right. Take this. A lot of shining. You can't even see the color. I'm just dipping into my face powder so I can just blend it in. Yeah, it's glaring, so y'all really can't see it. Put a little bit more orange in there. Make it glorious. Start rejoicing, praising, lifting, raising, give the shouting, make it louder, make his praise glorious, glorious. There's another thing I ordered from Limelight. This is this, um, it's a liquid eyeliner pencil. And I like it because it dries powdery. And it doesn't bleed. Y'all see that? And that's what it looks like. It's got like that felt tip brush and it's, it's flexible and it moves with you. And you can make it, you can make it a thick line or a skinny line. And I'm just giving me a thick, Wing cat eye. I hear them bugs, they they singing already. All right. Let's see that. Three more minutes, y'all. Okay, and this is the Alme Hypoallergenic. Let me look at that eye right, real close. It look like it's. Oh yeah, I need to fix that. Handy dandy Q-tip, Q-tips, y'all. Fixes. I make up errors. There we go, that's fixed. Love this. Again, this is Lime by Limelight. 18 bucks, but it's worth it. Love it. Let's go on and get this mascara going. I used to wear fake eyelashes all the time. And um 
and they do make your your makes your whole complete look look good. But let me tell you, take me too long to put them on, so I just want my mascara. Okay, eyes done. And I'm going to just use um, this highlighter up here. It's an eyeshadow, actually, but I'm going to use it as a highlighter. Love it. Give us that glow we be looking for. My mom tagged me the other day. She said, Tanya, you show sure is country. She said, your dad would flip out if he heard the way how country you talk sometimes. I said, you know, I t I'm, I'm, I'm country. She said, now you would never know how country you were in the business sense, she said, because when you're talking business and professionally, you talk. I said, yeah, I know how to turn it off and turn it on. Okay, I got 10 more minutes I can use, and otherwise I got to stop. Anyway, I got on my highlight. Okay, and then for the blush, um, we're going to use, of course, my pink blush. I love this blush. This blush is from um, Mania Makeup website or Makeup Mania. And it's the La Femme blushes. And this one is in Flamingo Pink. Okay. What I like to do after I put my blush on and all that, I just take a little bit more of my powder and just sort of go over everything so it so it looks blended and smooth. And that's just the way I like to do my makeup. I don't want it to be so profound. I like everything to be nice, smooth, and blended. Y'all see that? I don't want it to be that eyeshadow. <clears throat> You know, I like everything to be flowy and blended. Okay. Oh, I meant I had already put this on. Of course, y'all know I use Polly's form. Same as Neil's form. But this one's has a look. Because my lips stay so dry. And I'll put some of that on. And this is by Limelight. And this is, um, what's the name of this? Dream. And this is just the lip gloss. Love this. Goes on really smooth. And it has, like I said, it has like a coconut taste, not taste, but scent. Cute applicator. Love it. And this is the finished look. And I'll put pictures on the end. Anyway, let me go and get dressed. Knock out this work so I can go handle my granddaughter. Anyway, thanks for getting ready with me. Thanks for getting ready with me. God bless and may the peace of the Lord be with you. Bye. <laughs>